Hello and welcome to part three of my uh, blog posts about uh, photographing paintings. Um, I did a video already for um, fixing the specular highlights and that went pretty quick so I decided to go ahead and show my entire workflow starting with Lightroom. Um, what you see in front of you is um, a uh, photo that's been captured uh, and uh, it's pretty much exactly how it comes up from the camera. As you can see, uh, it's quite warm. And um, the reason for this is because of the, uh, the um, incandescent lights that I use. Um, to tell you the truth, I actually prefer to do this first color adjustment here uh, because it gives me the ability. As you can see, this is a copy. Over here, you can see the image that I've already worked on in Lightroom. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my uh, my entire workflow for those of you that are interested. Uh, basically, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cool it down on just a notch using uh, this incremental slider here. I might go. I, what I like about that is it allows me to get just two steps. That looks pretty good. Let's go back into the develop module. Uh, if you don't have Lightroom, I highly recommend it. It's a great program and it's a lot faster than just working in Photoshop alone. Okay, next job is going to be to crop our image. You can hear my dog Benny there in the background. Probably. Okay, we're going to say done. That looks good. Um, Zooming in and out of the Lightroom is really not as easy. Uh, now this image doesn't need much else done to it other than cropping. As you can see, there are some of the uh, specular highlights that we're going to fix. Uh, and I've got another video showing you that. Um, one thing that's neat uh, about Lightroom is that uh, you can really very quickly correct things. I'm probably going to go ahead and increase the black a little bit. The saturation I still think is a bit much. So I'm going to go here and as you can see this is the uh, HSL mode. That's hue, saturation, and lightness I guess. Uh, I don't know really. Uh, either way I can use this to suck some of these. To, uh, most of my problems are from the warmth of the light. And of course, being the painter, I know what this uh, painting should look like. And uh, uh, you can have some uh, variants, of course, depending on your monitor. Um, but I know this monitor, and I know the camera, and I know uh, the settings that, I, that have worked for me in the past. And this is pretty good. So I'm just sucking out a little red, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. Everything else is fine. Um, Oops. We uh, we also kicked in a little bit of black. I you know uh, this seems a little bright to me. I might go ahead and knock that back a little. Uh, and I may do further adjustments in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and take this down a little too. Um, that looks pretty good for Lightroom. So my next step would be to export this image. If you right click on an image in Lightroom. You can see I have an export command. I have some saved things here. I'm going to go ahead, just go here so you can see the full um, deal. Okay, so normally what I'll do is I'll export a PSD version and I will export. This is fine, it's set for my desktop. Uh, I'm going to do it set for JPEG right now. It really doesn't matter which one I do first, but just for fun, we're going to do the PSD. I do not want that checked. I want all of the pixels, original pixels. Uh, we want all the metadata and we do not want a watermark. And with that all set, we uh, will click export. And that will create a uh, Photoshop file, in this case on a desktop. Um, uh, when I'm working uh, in a batch, I can go over to the uh, the library module 
and I can export the entire folder at the same time. So Photoshop's a big time saver. And also, just right click on this uh, in the uh, the library uh, module and do my exporting right here as well. So I did my Photoshop. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a JPEG. Um, you could just do Photoshop, but I found a while back because uh, Windows doesn't give you previews of your uh, Photoshop files. It's very handy to have a JPEG. And uh, what I do is just update it um, uh, as I correct my Photoshop file. So we go JPEG, we go quality 100, we leave resize to fit off. Uh, we leave metadata alone. We leave the watermark off. This is very handy for when you make smaller JPEGs for web work. And we click export. And that's basically it. We're ready to go in and do any other adjustments necessarily in Photoshop. Most of the time, uh, there isn't that many because uh, as far as color goes, I just go into Photoshop to fix those specular highlights. Uh, thanks a lot and hope you got something out of this. It's taken me quite a while to figure out uh, a good workflow. Uh, not so much in Lightroom, but definitely with those specular highlights.